Hi, Brother David Martin with Solid Rock Baptist Church and the Real Truth Gospel Ministry. Uh, Professor Brian Cox is quoted as saying that the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. This is a snide remark that is meant to belittle God in the Bible as if God didn't know science and the Bible was totally unscientific. Uh, atheists like Cox, Tyson, Sagan, Hitchens, Dawkins, and Hawking all have a bias against the Bible and against God. This bias leads them to presuppose that there is no God, no creator, no intelligent designer, and they claim there is no evidence for a creator or designer. And when challenged on the origin of the universe, they always say you can't prove the existence of God. And when pressed, they will say that the origin of the universe doesn't matter anyway to them. And they really don't care how it came into being. And so much for scientific curiosity. As a Bible-believing Christian, I have no problem with this statement. However, I do take issue with this arrogant and hostile attitude against Christianity. The dishonest atheist uh, claim it's either science or the Bible, but it can't be both. Well, this is a false dichotomy. There is a third option, and that is all of the above. Science and the Bible are both true. The Bible is not against true science, but it warns against science falsely so-called. We can name scientists who believed in God. Kepler, Newton, Pascal, Faraday, Pasteur, Copernicus, Galileo, Calvin, Boyle, Planck, Mendel, Marconi, many more. But the modern atheist dismisses anyone smarter than them who believes in God as a non-scientific uh, superstitious imbecile, no matter their stature, credentials, or accomplishments. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Can atheistic scientists disprove that statement? No, they can't. Well, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God.